why don't just post the positive stuff? It's a bit like business here. Um, my friend Steve arrived the last couple of days and he's brought all the stuff over relating to the fish and the dog food and other bits and pieces. So that's actually going ahead. And now how it's going to go ahead, we're still working out at the moment to see where it's going to go. Um, but today, as you probably noticed in my last video, or three or four videos below this one, my van fell apart. The Basically what's happened is the there's a gear, what's a bit like, I don't know what you call it, a gear interchanger, um, where basically the right hand wheel um, is connected through this rod that connects up to the gearbox. This I had assumed it had just gone, drop out, bolt back together, and we've been back on the road. After today's look, it's got a big hairline crack in it. Um, basically, uh, the guy said, yeah, it's all up and running. Just going to take it for a test drive. I went to the bank to get the money, come back, and it's back up on the ramp. Um, because basically there's a, the hairline, there's a hairline fracture all the way through the box. Because it's an aluminium case. And basically I need to replace that case, which is all tied in with a wheel so it's not a five minute job anymore um pig of a job but why do i post the negative stuff because you know what when you see self-help motivation or the nonsense that's put out by these people that are we don't do negativity stuff they never tell you why they got where they are the reality is they just keep trying they keep pushing they keep testing themselves the one thing they don't do is give up and this is the main thing we're doing here is we're not giving up we look at the van and we go okay it needs these repairs doing to it I've got to get them done what's the cost going to be you know if it cost me a thousand euros I will still pay it why the van only cost two thousand two hundred because I need a mode of transport. If I change all these bits underneath, they fixed the oil leak that was coming out of the engine, the bit I was originally looking at. I've got a solid engine. The body works fine. I don't need a new car. And if I do this, this is the one major repair that would be a problem. And it's fixed. Once it's fixed, we're back in the road. And these are the bits that, like I said, the motivational stuff, they don't cover. They don't go... When it all goes really bad, motivate yourself. Find your way out. What they do is go, don't be negative. Don't be negative about stuff. What are you talking about? You've got to look at the positives. The positives is we have no loan on this. So at the end of the day, if it costs me a thousand euros and I get it fixed and it's back in the road, it's free. You know, um, if I bought a new car, for example, how much would I pay for a new car over five years to pay it off? A lot of money. This, I've spent, it cost me 3,300 euros with everything. Spent another thousand, it's cost me 4,300. What does it owe me? 4,300. What do I owe the bank? Nothing. And that's the important bit. The important bit is to turn around and go, right, there's a downside to this. Downside is it's burning a hole in my pocket right now. Good side of this is once it's running and get out, do some more of the photography stuff I want to do. This is so this is the funny bit. This is what I've been doing much on the going around the different areas lately because I've been a bit worried about the engine and um, the weather hasn't been great either. So I've sort of like kept local for the school runs and that sort of stuff. And yesterday I was when I was driving, I could hear this like ping. And there was something had flown out of the engine, obviously. Uh, but the thing now is, we'll look at the positive side. Getting it right, get it back on the road. And this is why I share the negatives and positives. Because you can see, like, I'm a real person. I don't just go on here and go, everything's great, nothing ever goes wrong for me. Because that's not real life. And this is what's pro the problem with the internet these days. They don't cover that stuff. They're always telling you how great everything is. They don't go, oh, like I said, I should have talked this in two weeks ago. You know, because that's admitting I've made a mistake. It's my fault. But everyone's going, oh, no, we'll hide that. We won't talk about the van at all. 
we'll just pretend it's all fine and when it's fixed we'll just carry on as if it never even occurred at all what's the point of that doesn't help anybody does it so that's why this channel is a little bit different you know if something doesn't run right it doesn't run right and it you may, people who followed me th on my blog from 2007 can see my posts go up and down up and down depending on how things are flowing because it's real um there is no upsell on this i'm not selling a product i'm selling well, am i selling myself i don't know if i'm selling myself i'm not actually trying to get you to buy anything from me here's my ebook there's no product um I do this because I think it's important for people going to the Philippines. I think it's important for people that want to realize there's other people out there that are real. Um, because life's so fake these days, and I find it really vulgar. Um, people should be happy. People should be content with what they've got. When something goes wrong, you're allowed to go, it's gone wrong people don't like hearing it these days i don't know what's see that when i something goes wrong for me um i like other people's input to go well i know what let's have a look at that i know something about that and you know get a bit of interaction going you know um somebody go oh i know about gearboxes i'll do it for you that's me you know that's the you know like if somebody's got a computer problem i'll say I'll bring it over i'll have a look at it for you but we seem to be going in a way of the world where everything's first cash out, but then if it's not that, it's, oh, they don't know what they're doing, negative, negative. When you actually should be going, how can I help? All right, thanks for watching.